We are back now on Most Buffalo, and June is African American Music Appreciation Month. It's also known as Black Music Month, and it's a chance to celebrate the contributions made by African American artists, musicians, and producers in the world of music. And of course, we're fortunate enough to have a great resource in music history right at home. And we're so pleased to welcome Sheila Brown, the owner of the historic the historic WUFO back to Most Buffalo. It's so great to see you. Thank you so much for inviting me on today. I know that later this month you're hosting the Black Music Month Conference and Awards. There's going to be competitions. It's a whole thing. Tell us about that. It is a whole thing. You know, in 1979, our president, Jimmy Carter, he made June Black Music Month. So for years, WUFO has been doing Black Music Month. You got so many people in the city of Buffalo that's so talented. So we do workshops to show people how to break into the industry, how to get their songs played. But then we have a big party on Friday night. Um, we're celebrating 50 years of hip hop across the country. So we're gonna have Chuck Rock come in and he's gonna do a big party for us. Then Saturday, we go back in the workshops and then we have a red carpet Saturday night. So we honor people that's on the air with us for years on our Saturday show, especially sub Saturday. They're gonna be all honored on Saturday. And then we have another party that night. And then Sunday, we come back into a uh, gospel brunch with a national recording artist that's coming in, Crushfield Jones out of LA, and they're gonna do like a Neil Soul jazz set and then the competition. So seven contestants are going to run to see who's gonna get the prize of $500 in cash and then a podcast. But the big thing about our BMMCA this year is we're gonna have a menthol funeral would reach tobacco free. So we have four people that's gonna um, try to stop smoking mm -hmm. and the winner is gonna get $1,080. So we're gonna have a whole little um, makeshift funeral on cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're, the list of African American artists who have left their mark on music obviously is incredibly long, but where would you say Buffalo's place or biggest contribution is in that long history? You know, I'm telling you, through the city of Buffalo, in particular WUFO back in the 60s, we had from Frankie Crocker, Eddie O.J., Jerry Bledsoe, they all started right at WUFO and went into these metropolitan cities. But across the country, anywhere you go, if someone says radio, urban radio, they think of WUFO. Mm -hmm. You know, they had made some amazing strides for us. So back home locally, we really made WUFO shine starting in the 60s with those guys. And you're such a big part of the history as well. We were just kind of talking about this. Yeah. What do you think has changed the most from when you were starting until now? And I, obviously with this this event that you're having, you're helping artists get into, yeah. into the industry. You know, when I first started at WUFO, uh, that was in 1986, and everything was still reel to reels. It was eight track tapes. Uh, everything was digging in the crates with the artists, with um, the DJs. Now everything is digital. Mm -hmm. Even our contracts, we used to handwrite those contracts. Mm -hmm. Now everything is digital. <laughs> so it is good to see, you know, how the industry has changed for the better, mm -hmm. you know. But I always tell uh, people who are just coming into the industry, you never understand the work we really had to do. We really had to work in radio to make it work. What about opportunities for artists? Is it better? now different? You know, I, I, I think it's better um, on them, but then it's, it's a little difference. Before you had record companies and they would send us the actual vinyl, so we would um, create a library of their music. Now everything is digital. They send you an MP3 and you play it that way, so you don't have hard copies of the actual material. And so with artists now, it's a little harder to break into the industry as when it was there. So you see a lot of artists now being their own independent Mm -hmm. agents. They don't even have record companies anymore. Well, once again, the Black Music Month Conference Awards is a three-day event it's happening June 23rd through the 25th. The competition is on June 16th. You can find more information uh, on both at bmmca.com. Sheila Brown, thanks so much for being here. Thank you so much for having me today. It's great to see you. Yeah, you too.